estamos en Crest Hollow Country Club con los great chefs de Long Island. Tenemos diferentes restaurantes, pero acompañándome hoy tenemos a uno de nuestros chefs de la revista Long Island Latino TV y Magazine, que es nuestro chef Morris. ¿Cómo estás, chef? Oh, gracias. Gracias por la invitación a participar en su programa. Estoy muy feliz porque, como ya saben, soy, yo escribo recetas para Long Island TV. La, la revista y lo que es la cocina es mi pasión. Siempre que hay un evento, siempre me gusta participar porque siempre uh, me gusta darle mi tiempo y que yo sé que todo, esto, todo este evento, todo lo que se va a recaudar va a ser para una, beneficio, para una, una buena, buena causa. causa. Entonces yo lo hago con mucho más gusto y eso es lo que yo disfruto siempre. Y continuamos aquí con los Great Chefs de Long Island. Y aquí estamos con un restaurante que me encantó su comida. Vine a probar un poquito de su guacamole, un poquito de su ceviche también. Aquí tengo al lado conmigo a Carlos y también a José. Bueno, Carlos, yo sé que tú eres el Executive Chef de Besitos, ¿sí o no? Con muy, mucho orgullo. ¡Ay! Y cuéntanos qué especialidad tú nos trajiste hoy a este, a este evento. Bueno, trajimos este, el guacamole bien tradicional de México. Y también trajimos este ceviche de camarones, uh, algo de la costa de Acapulco y este y bueno, bien delicioso. Cuéntanos, José, ¿cuál es tu posición aquí con besitos? Mi posición es asegurarme que el cliente reciba la mejor experiencia uh, cuando se trata de, 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 de venir a almorzar o a comer al besito. Así que de crear memoria, de, um, de re que reciba la mejor experiencia en todos los, los aspectos de, 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 de restaurante. And we are here, we're back on track. Well, this is one of my favorite places over here, which is <laughs> the wine. And I have two beautiful ladies with me today, which is gonna explain to me a little bit about where they come from. And well, look, we're gonna talk about, you know, their, I guess, the most common favorite wine of the night. So what is your name? Lori. Lori, and tell me, well, let's also introduce her. Nicole. Hi, Nicole and Lori. Now tell us a little bit about the wine tonight. What's the most popular wine that's going on today? The most popular white is the Pinot Grigio. Okay, and what is it made of? It is actually from the Alto Adige region of Italy, northeast. Wonderful wine. It's 100% Pinot Grigio, light, crisp, refreshing, and Long Island loves Pinot Grigio. Right. Oh, nice, nice. And what is the other wine you were telling me about? This one is a Malbec from um, Argentina. Oh, okay. um, beautiful wine from Buenos Aires, new to our portfolio. It's called Premio. Premio. And you can. It's sustainably harvested, um, organically made, really delicious, um, intense red fruit flavors that people love and super easy to drink. And here we are with the beautiful lady right next to me, Jenny, Jenny Fioca, right? Now, we're here at Crest Hollow with our greatest chefs of Long Island. I know that the one is hosting this beautiful event is... Oh, thank you so much. This is uh, Family Service League. We are a human service agency here on Long Island and we have services from babies to seniors. We have over 50 programs that serve the community and tonight we are raising money for Family Service League. So all the chefs, all the wineries, everybody here tonight donated all the food, all the wine, um, the beer, um, the water, decorative water, um, and um, they donated everything. So we have a, a, over $200,000 raised tonight for Family Family Service League, and that's thanks to our chefs and everyone who donated. I'm Karen Borstein, President and CEO of Family Service League, and our mission is to strengthen individuals and families at home, in the workplace, in the community. And we really do everything. We're the safety net for Long Island, providing services for children right through seniors, and we do provide a lot of behavioral health chemical dependency services, and tonight's event really helps us to raise dollars to support the agency and all of these programs so we can sustain our work and help strengthen communities throughout Long Island. I'm Barbara Page, I've been a board member for 17, 18 years. I was a former board chair, and I love being part of Family Service League because of what we do for the community. We help everyone, as Karen said, from babies to seniors to families. We um, have a whole family approach. We don't just help one person. We help all the people in a family. And our board members have been together for 10, 20, 30 years. That's how much we care about the people of Long Island. And, and all of, 
each other too. So it's it's about being here for everybody, and um, we're we're proud of what we do, and it makes us all feel good to help each other.